And what happens with age? Well, as we well know, hormone decline. Uh, that's pretty typical. And there have been a lot of questions as to, well, why does this actually happen? Um, well, it's biologically expensive to keep us um, in our full hormonal state. We weren't supposed to live to 80 years old and have all these hormones. Essentially, we have our hormones, we procreate, and then to become grandparents. After we can't procreate, because both males and females realize they do reach their hormonal peak at age 25 to 30. Good hormones decrease, which is almost all of them. The bad hormones, or the ones that are not so good for us, like cortisol and insulin, tend to increase. And uh, obviously, every body is different. There are uh, different, um, some faster declines, as opposed to uh, some more, some subtle declines. Uh, some people actually, uh, there are very few women who have their estrogen, but there are some into their 70s, very few, I say. Uh, just like not every, every man has no testosterone by the end of 70. The chances are, as you get older, you, you are at risk of losing uh, a testosterone or other hormones. So you'll see this, the hormone decline with age. There are just some examples here. The growth hormone. Remember, 50, 60 is really a key age. So growth hormone, again, we uh, reach our peak at 25, uh, both males and females. Why do we de decrease? Uh, is it genetic? Uh, there's a lot of talk now about um, trauma, um, brain trauma, meaning um, it doesn't have to be major um, brain trauma. It can be, for instance, all the concussions, the accumulation of minor head injury can actually cause an earlier hormonal decline in cognitive functioning. That's a very hot topic now. We're just talking about possible reasons for decrease in growth hormone. Uh, age being one, genetics being another, uh, traumatic brain injury being one, uh, radiation, toxins, the environment, um, other uh, possible reasons. So functional decline with age. So we're talking hormonally. So what does that really mean in terms of us functioning in our life? So big deal that our hormones are, are decreasing. Well, with that comes real problems. And here you'll see this graph being, um, for instance, uh, which we well know, the female fertility. At 35, there's a decrease in fertility. It goes up every year. And then when we have no longer, when we women have no longer any eggs or follicles, that's when uh, we reach menopause and of course then we cannot be fertile. When you're going to see uh, most um, of your real fluctuations is menarche when we first start our cycles and then towards the end of our cycles. But that's not saying that between 35 and say 50 or 51 when you reach menopause that you can't have these fluctuations. And that causes a lot of the problems and we'll talk about it a little bit later. But also just the nerve conductivity, the, the kidney, the breathing, every fun, every um, organ of our body is affected by declining hormones, not just fertility, sex, et cetera, reproductive. So age-related diseases. Uh, also, you'll see that as we get older. So we have heart disease uh, increasing between, really uh, in both males and females, 55 when you'll see an increase. Diabetes, you get the biggest, you start out uh, in the 40s, but as you get older, you'll see stroke, lung cancer, all of those diseases, which are chronic diseases, they increase as we get older. Does hormones have something to do with it? 